Dear students, hope you are enjoying the online classes. So that once again I welcome you to the online classes, DU Nalgonda. Uh, so far, we have discussed about uh, the magnetic effects of the electric current. So, but in this class, we will go through about uh, electrical effects of the magnetic field. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the first time, first time in the physics subject. So, Michael Faraday found out uh, uh, different rules that uh, he introduced the magnetic field. He could change the magnetic field around the conductor so that uh, the change in the magnetic flux produces electric current. So, clearly we will go through the term from Faraday's law today. So, uh, he took one uh, electric coil. He connected this electric coil to the galvanometer. Okay, this is a galvanometer. This is an electric coil, electric conductor, and the ends of the electric conductor is connected to a galvanometer. The difference between the galvanometer and the ammeter is galvanometer can detect the simple, uh, the smallest quantities of electrical currents also. So while if the small electric current is produced in the coil it can detect so that we can find out if the electric current is produced in this magnet in this electric uh, coil okay so he brought one bar magnet he brought one bar magnet north pole of the bar magnet towards the electric coil okay as this north pole of the bar magnet is brought is bring near to the electric coil he could able to find out some deflection in the galvanometer Okay, so that uh, he found he observed that if the north pole of the bar magnet is stable at a nearby this electric coil, there is no deflection in the galvanometer. It means there is no current is produced in the electrical coil. When it is brought away from this electric conductor or the coil, again the deflection is produced in the opposite direction. It means when the bar magnet is bringing near to this electric coil or it is moving away from the coil the electric current is produced in the coil okay or uh, when it is uh, brought and it is stable and it is uh, it is brought to it's brought near to this electric coil and it is at rest when where there is a relative where there will not be a relative motion in electric conductor and this bar magnet there will not be a electric conduct electric current it means uh, he found out that where there is a relative motion where there is a motion between the coil and the bar magnet there will be a uh, electric current in the coil so we can understand we can uh, easily identify the deflection of this galvanometer deflection of the galvanometer it means the electric current is produced. It means as long as the relative motion is there between the bar magnet and the electric coil, there will be a electric current in the conductor. Where there will not be a relative motion between these two objects, there will not be an electric current. It means when this bar magnet is brought near to this coil, some electric current is induced electric current is produced we call that produce production of the electric current is the induced it means uh, we are we we have already seen in the in the previous chapter where there is a potential difference between the terminals of the conductor there will be a electric current unless there is a potential difference we cannot produce any electric current in the conductor or somewhere else in the coil it means when this bar magnet is brought near to this coil, there will be a deflection. It means while it is bringing to the near to this coil, there will be a electric current. It means when there is a, when this bar magnet is bringing near to this, this magnetic flux, we know that where there is a magnet, the area surrounded by the magnet is influenced by the magnetic field it means as the bar magnet is moving towards the coil the magnetic fields also magnetic field also 
moves around the bar magnet towards the electric coil. It means when the bar magnet is moving towards the coil, it uh, produces some potential difference in the edges of the coil. Okay, this we call it as electromotive force. This electromotive force is created or induced when the bar magnet is bringing near to the electric coil. This kind of electromotive force is called is called as induced electromotive force. This phenomenon is known as electromagnetic induction. This phenomenon is known as electromagnetic okay electromagnetic induction. It means the ele electric current is induced by the change in the magnetic field so that it is called as electromagnetic induction. So it means as long as the bar magnet is moving towards the electric coil, there will be a change in the magnetic flux which is passing through the electric coil. As long as the change, as long as the change in the flux, then there will be a electric current is produced in the coil. When there is no change in the magnetic flux while it is bringing to this electric coil, there will not be electric current in the coil. It means he found he find out the first time in this world when there is a magnetic flux change, change in the magnetic flux in any electric conductor that induces electric current. This phenomenon is called as elect induced uh, electromotive force or electromagnetic induction. So Michael Faraday, the, this, this law is called as Faraday's law. It means uh, uh, he explained this Michael, he explained this law in terms of a mathematical formula that is the induced electromotive force is equals to the rate of change of the magnetic flux. It means induced electromotive force is equals to rate of change in flux. In mathematical terms, if EMF is written as in terms of E, this will be d rate of change of magnetic flux d phi by dt. Change means d, rate means time in the flux d phi by dt. This also can be written as delta phi by delta t. This formula is known as Faraday's formula. Okay? Uh, if phi is the magnetic flux is produced by the entire number of terms of the electric coil. If the magnetic flux produced by the single turn is phi naught, so then phi can be written as if this loop, if this uh, uh, this uh, strings, like put, it, it means if it is having the number of turns, so the collective magnetic flux is produced by the coil will be n phi naught. Okay? If the phi is replaced by n phi naught, so then E will be delta n delta phi naught by delta t. This is called as Faraday's law. According to this Faraday's law, where there is a change in the magnetic flux, then there will be a induction of, there will be a electric current uh, there will be a, uh, there will be the current is produced in the coil okay so far we have discussed that the, the change in the magnetic flux induces the electric current in the coil okay but we haven't discussed the direction in which the magnetic uh, the electric current is produced okay in this chapter especially in the first class i have uh, told you very clearly about uh, the direction in which the magnetic field is produced or the direction in which the electric current is produced. Okay? According to the Faraday, change in the flux creates the induced electromotive force. So that due to this induced electromotive force, there will be a electric current. Okay? For example, if we change, if we reverse the directions of this uh, bar magnet, it means 
if the north pole north pole is replaced with the south pole and the south pole is replaced with the north pole if we repeat the same experiment with uh, this kind of magnetic poles the deflection in the galvanometer is reversed as the poles are reversed the deflection in the galvanometer also changed it means the direction of this induced electric current is depend on the magnetic direction of the magnetic flux but he couldn't explain the direction in which the electric current is produced but later on uh, a russian physicist lens you know this lens lens tried to explain the direction of the electric current which is produced by the change in the magnetic field okay uh, to understand this let us uh, consider the same bar magnet the same coil with the north pole and the south pole okay as the north pole of the bar magnet is brought near to this electric coil generally uh, we say that if, if the south pole is produced here if the south pole is produced here it means the electric current is produced in the clockwise direction due to this north pole if the electric current produced in the no clockwise direction north pole uh, sorry south pole will be produced okay as the south pole is produced when the bar magnet is brought near to this electric coil we know that unlike poles attract each other and the like poles repel so as it the electric current produced in the coil is a clockwise direction the south pole is produced if the south pole is produced there will be attraction between the north and the south poles when there is attraction between the north and south poles when north pole is comes near to the south pole they will be attracted and there will not be a mechanical there will not be a kinetic energy the kinetic energy will be zero when the kinetic energy will be zero the induced we cannot find out induced electric current in the coil it means what we assumed is wrong unless here the north pole is produced unless here the north pole is produced then only this north pole repels the north pole due to this reason uh, the two poles cannot be attract each other due to this reason uh, we can uh, uh, expect some electric current that is induced in the coil so the, uh, this uh, hendrik lens could able to explain the direction in which the electric current is produced when the magnetic flux is changed or when it is near when it is brought near to the electric coil okay so it means automatically we can say that as the north pole is brought near to the coil the north pole is produced okay uh, if the south pole is brought near to this electric coil the south pole is produced if the north pole is produced again there will be attraction between the different poles so then there will not be a kinetic energy where there will not be a kinetic energy there will not be a conversion of electrical energy uh, from kinetic energy to the uh, electrical energy it means uh, the we cannot expect the law of conservation of energy okay so after this observations uh, observations lens explained that the while the magnetic flux mag bar magnet is brought near to this electric coil the induced electric current the induced electric current opposes the induced electric current opposes the changes which is which is which are produced in electric coil this will be happened when the bar magnet is brought near to this it means when north south pole is produced south is produced when the north pole is brought near to this the north pole is formed okay if the bar magnet is moving away the bar magnet is moving away from the coil what would happen if the south pole is moving away from this uh, electric coil the north pole is produced according to lenz law what we could understand what we can understand is 
it has to change the opposition it has to it has to oppose the changes it means as the north pole is moving away to oppose this change electric coil in electric coil north pole will be produced as the north pole produces this north pole opposes the motion of the south pole which is moved away from the coil so this has been observed by henrik lenz it means according to lenz law just we can understand the direction in which the electric current is produced uh, it means if we add uh, el sorry e, this electromotive force e will be we know n d phi not by dt according to lenz law according to lenz law the induced current opposes the changes in the magnetic flux so we will we can introduce a minus this minus shows the induced electric current opposes the changes when the mag bar magnet is brought near to the electric coil okay uh, the next we will see about uh, daily life applications of faraday's law actually uh, we have uh, in academic standards the last one is daily life applications okay so uh, we can expect some questions in that uh, uh, daily life applications also okay where do we apply this faraday's law in our daily lives you know while you are entering into the shopping malls metro train stations we have to enter into that shops or metro station with a uh, through this uh, kind of arrangement you know uh, that that will be a very height and uh, uh, two bars are left and uh, right through that we need to enter that we call it as protection cell okay a, a person when uh, enters through that gate okay if the person carries any metals kind of iron uh, they will find out electric current is produced in this uh, through that gate so uh, the persons who are at the security gate they will identify the person who is entering into that gate is carrying some weapons kind of things so that's one of the advantages the next is you know while if you want to draw some money uh, through the atm machines uh, we have to insert the atm machine uh, insert the atm card into the machine while we enter while we uh, insert it and uh, remove it quickly due to the one magnetic strip is will be behind this atm card okay due to that card there will be some changes in the electric current so uh, due to this uh, production of ind induction of electric current the card particles will be displayed on the screen it means atm machines atm card also works based on the faraday's law and uh, one more thing is uh, in olden days we used to have uh, this kind of tapes uh, tape recorder tapes the tape is having the electromagnetic prints on that okay that also be worked based on the uh, faraday's law apart from all these issues apart from all these applications uh, we uh, there are some electric dynamos ac dynamos and dc dynamos we can find out the faraday's application in the dynamo also okay for example in uh, in our first example the magnetic flux when the bar magnet is bringing near to this electric coil there will be a change in the magnetic flux okay as long as the change in the magnetic flux electric current will be in induced okay if we will imagine in this way if the coil is placed in a permanent magnetic field the magnetic flux which is going through the coil changes continuously if the electromagnetic flux changes continuously through the coil what would happen can you imagine that is the principle of the dynamo okay now uh, we will try to understand the working principle of uh, uh, dynamo okay uh, actually uh, i'll draw black diagram of uh, dynamo on this board it's very easy to draw actually the diagram which is in the textbook is uh, it is a three dimensional figure uh, that's a bit difficult to draw 
okay but uh, i draw here there are some curved shape magnets the north pole and the south pole so magnetic field lines passes from north pole to south pole it means magnetic flux is a will be there continuously between these two magnets okay already i told you to imagine that is if a coil makes to rotate in a magnetic field or if the magnetic field flux if the magnetic flux changes continuously through the coil what would happen let us consider a coil okay uh, this will be a coil slip rings brushes okay uh, this is a simple arrangement of dynamo okay this is a coil rotates in between north pole and south pole so that magnetic flux passes through the coil now we will try to understand this will be the square shaped electric coil okay when this coil is kept in this way it means let us assume this side is a north pole and that side will be the south pole magnetic field lines passes from north pole to south pole through this rectangular shaped coil okay as the coil is upright you know the maximum number of field lines passes through the coil okay when the maximum number of field lines passes through the coil there will be attraction force between both the magnetic fields because already it is placed in the magnetic field as well as while the change in the magnetic field that also produces electric current before that you see when this rectangular shaped coil is placed like this there will not be a change in the flux so that we will not find out any electric current passing through the ends of the conductor while if we makes to rotate the coil like this you know while it is bending like rotating like this there will be a change in the magnetic field which is passing through the coil as the as there is a change in the magnetic flux the electric current will be induced okay uh, if we draw a graph when the side a is in this side the electric current is induced at this side will be this okay this uh, rings in the half rotation the a side goes to b side and b side goes to a side along with the rings so it means the direction of the electric current induced also changes it means the change in the electric current will be indicated in this way for the next half it comes like this for the other half it comes like this it means for every half cycle there will be a change in the direction of the electric current okay if we connect any resistance like a fan a refrigerator or mixy iron box whatever the electric appliance we connect here it starts working it means while the electric coil is placed between the magnetic fields the outcome of this arrangement will be the electric current it means the kinetic energy of this electric coil is converted into the electrical energy okay so this is a working of ac dynamo in case of dc dynamo there will be a change in the arrangement like this there will be a little change in the arrangements of slip rings okay okay in case of this uh, dc dynamo this is a change in the arrangement of dc dynamo okay in case of this dc dynamo what happens is 
while the a side rotates to the side b there will not be a change in the direction of the electric current because initially in a ac dynamo complete setup changes to from a to b so that's why the direction of the electric current also changes here the slip rings here only the brushes also stay back like this only so just side a changes to b side so there will not be a change in the direction of electric current so that can be drawn in this way as there is no change in the electric uh, current so for the first half this will be the direction of the electric current for the second half this will be the direction of the electric current for the third half this will be for the fourth half this is known as dc dynamo okay see uh, based on this faraday's law we can construct uh, dynamos the dynamos can be a uh, ac electric uh, ac supplies and uh, dc supplies okay so far we have seen uh, what is uh, faraday law lenz law and the daily application of the faraday law based on that uh, dynamos also works okay we'll meet in the next class thank you